Right, I'm now down, going down a very narrow lane indeed, leading up to the Ryla station. Um, there's a gate along, not far from here, where you turn off to go across the fields and down near Longwood. That's one of the ways I usually go. That's one of, but I don't normally do this diversion I'm doing today. It's just that because I've got the van, I'm taking, I'm doing fitting in more than I would, and it's a nice weather. So I'm going to do velvet bottom, the old ancient Roman and Victorian mining grounds, which I have done in depth. By the way, I don't have to go through it all again. Um, there's lots of information I've done on other videos about uh, Velvet Bottom. It's just a way home I'm doing for a change. I'm doing a small diversion. There was a girl in front, she's just gone across those fields where I often go. Um, it's lovely, isn't it? That is a nice walk home and you go up near Longwood. You can go down and walk through Longwood, come up, then go up towards the, the long sheep field. That is one of my favourite walks. Today I'm extending. Instead of going that way, I'm going on, not far. I'm going on to the Wyler station, onto a little tiny road, where I will then get onto a bigger, slightly bigger road, which will then take me to a stile. And I will get over the stile and walk down to the base of Velvet Bottom and then walk up the valley. Um, that's, then when I go, then I'll be going towards Black Rock and you could either then do a big walk up one side of the gorge, up the, the steps, or you can risk walking down the gorge and risk, um, see there's a walk there look, and risk, um, or you go that way, won't it? Yeah, or you risk having stones on your head if you walk down the gorge. It's often loose stones. But this is where you go. You go across that field there. That'll take you down there. That'll take you down to uh, Longwood and back to Cheddar that way. Cheddar's over there. All I'm doing is just a slight diversion, just because it's a nice day. I didn't get round to doing... Road Barrow Fort because that would have been you could easily allow another two hours back there doing that. I'd probably only just be going up the fort now or I might be up the fort now. Uh, I've decided to leave that to another day because there is a walk I want to do. So I'm, I am going over old walks but what I find is I often come across new things even following familiar tracks, you know. I mean, I've only done this walk. I've been up to these um, towers before now, but I've not done, I'm doing the walk in reverse to um, Velvet Bottom. I've walked this way, I've walked going that way, if you know what I mean. And like I say, it's a lovely walk over there. It's a beautiful walk. There's walks everywhere here. The hedgerows are beautiful. We are really so lucky to have so much. I mean, I can't explore a whole of England. I, I mean, I've got things to do with England and Wales and Scotland. I mean, I've Scotland, I've done very well not long ago, so I'm quite happy what I've done there. Um, Wales, there's still many castles, the Declare castles that I want to do. Um, Caphilia's one, for example. Then in England, I want to go to um, Dover Castle, I want to do. Um, I want to do Canterbury Cathedral, Lincoln Cathedral, Norwich Cathedral. But it's having the cash. I've got a lot of birthdays, and I like to make sure they do have birthday presents. That is part of what I do. So... When all the birthdays, I mean, Ju June and July, and, and the 1st of August, I mean, it's all birthdays. <sighs> I get a little tiny window 
before I have to start thinking of Christmas. And the small window is um, September. I mean, I've wanted to go to Plymouth for ages, but because it's so local, I, def I keep putting it off. I could probably afford to do Plymouth and on a day trip. But um, I prefer to stay there because there's some, some graveyards there I need to explore. I'm doing family tree for my grandson Jack and his sister Lucy, my granddaughter Lucy. They've got um, a very rich and wealthy family history down there. Um, wealthy merchants that were partly responsible for building Plymouth docks and everything. You know, people that fought in India and um, were part of the British Empire. There are still things I need to do. Some of them are buried though because they're so wealthy. They, they had vaults built in London in some of the big modern cemeteries that were built. Designer cemeteries. Um, some of their families have got a vault. The Dunstervilles. I've still got lots of my own tree to do. I can never get bored. I do get a bit disturbed by, and I don't, you know, people, family, and that. Um, I'm not the most. I mean, I remember birthdays. Christmas and stuff like that, I always do that. But I'm not a great mingler. And although I have had the girls, and they're all getting bigger now, and the time will come where they won't want to come to stay with me anymore. Um, Daisy did say not long ago she wanted to. I'll have to ask her again. Um, I'm and then, um, what's next? But the time will come when they might not want to come. I mean, I've enjoyed having them, the little people. I really have enjoyed having them over the last 10 years. They've, Daisy's been starting, Amber, have been coming to stay with me. I don't see a lot of them in the year, but everyone's very busy. The girl, Georgia, Joni work very hard. Yeah. Okay, I'm turning off now.